What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use columns into the WordPress Gutenberg Editor, the free WordPress native editor. The Gutenberg is improving and evolving, so we can now apply columns in blog posts, in pages, or even into widgets in the case that you want. I'm gonna be adding columns into one of the blog posts, however, you can apply the same layout to any kind of post type like pages, projects, or blog posts. I'm gonna move to WordPress dashboard posts, add new, let me type a title for my blog post. Now let me grab a little bit of content, I'm gonna be using Lauren Ipsum, there is a lading. content creator, it's just a random content into the leading language, loading Ipsum. I can generate some paragraphs right here. I'm gonna tell more about loading Ipsum in a future video tutorial. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to use columns in other page builders, including Gutenberg. Now we have some content, let me type enter and click into this plus button. Now, right here, I'm gonna be searching for columns. In the case that you already have some templates like Barry, you can click on it, for example, right here, into these three columns with image and text, where we can be loading some template, a pre-built template. But in the case that you do not have it, no need to worry. Type enter, click into the plus button and search for the columns once again. Let's ignore this layout, click in the plus button, search for columns. Here's the layout generator. We can choose from any kind of columns or we can even generate new ones. I'm going to explain it later. I'm going to choose this three columns layout and in each one I'm going to be adding some piece of content. I can select another block of text, drag and drop by clicking into this nine, dot, nine dots icon. You can click into the plus button to apply an image. You can click into the plus button and search for another kind of element. I'm going to be searching for a contact form 7, for a contact form. And now we have a section with three columns and in each one a new content. If you hover your mouse between the columns gap, you can see a new plus button that if you can if you click, you're gonna be adding a new column. You can type Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo what you are doing. And you can even change the location of the elements inside the columns or the columns itself by dragging and dropping. You also can see a little left and right arrows into the columns where you can click to move the columns around the section. Simple, fast, easy and effective. Gutenberg is becoming a great editor for WordPress and everybody now loves it. Gaining more and more fans across the web and it is I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to Gutenberg Editor and many other page builders. And I see you later. All the best!